everyone. Today we are covering uh, free form reports on Google Analytics 4. This is basically the custom reports feature that it was on Universal Analytics uh, moved over to Google Analytics 4. So uh, this is a really awesome feature. It's one of my favorite features, mainly because uh, GA4 or Google Analytics 4 can be quite overwhelming uh, for myself and for I'm sure most other people or many other people uh, the platform just has so much information on there. You log on to your GA4 and you just see all these charts and information and data. Uh, the free form reports are a great way to consolidate all of your, all of your information and just look at a particular um, piece of information that you're looking for at the time. So let's say the only thing you're interested in about your website are page views and how many people are looking at your pages. You can set up a report that you can go straight to every time just to look at that or if you want to you know, share things with your employees, share things with your clients, it is a great way to create engageable and just visually appealing reports. So let's jump over to my screen uh, at Google Analytics 4 and I will show you how to configure this free form report feature. So I will see you in a couple seconds. Okay, so welcome to our Google Analytics 4 platform. So the best way or the way to get to the freeform reporting feature is to navigate over to the explore section on the left navigation panel. And this gives you the explore section. So you have a bunch of different options to choose from. You have freeform, funnel exploration, path exploration, segment overlap. In this situation, we are going to look at uh, freeform reporting in particular. So to create a new one, you can go ahead and just click on freeform. And once this loads, this kind of loads up uh, a default report. Uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, remove these preset dimensions and these preset metrics. And I'm going to show you kind of a blank canvas and how to approach it. So let's assume you start with the blank canvas. The first thing you want to look at are your dimensions and metrics. You need at least one dimension and one metric for them to combine and make a report. Uh, so in this situation, let's just make a simple report for your pages and the total users that have come to those pages. So when you think about dimensions and metrics, you want to think about which is which. So if you're looking at uh, your, your page titles and your total amount of users, your page titles are going to be your dimension and your uh, total amount of users is going to be your metrics. So let's navigate over here to dimensions and let's bring in page title. By the way, you just have a bunch of options to choose from. And if you work with Google Tag Manager and you bring in custom definitions and custom dimensions, uh, these will appear here underneath the custom section. So you have a lot of options to choose from. We are sticking to the simplest uh, method here. So let's go ahead and click on page title and click import. And let's click on metrics and click and type in total users and bring that in. So once we have this imported, uh, you want to just go ahead and drag and drop. It is really as simple as dragging and dropping. So you want to drop your page title in rows. And for metrics, you want to drag your total users into the values section. And by the way, you can um, arrange this however you'd like. You can bring this down to columns. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of columns in this situation because it looks like that. So I prefer uh, organized by rows. So once you have this, you can add way more than this. So let's look at metrics. Let's Let's bring in a couple more metrics. Let's look at, hmm. so this would have been e-commerce events. Let's look at, so you can have conversions, you can have first opens, first visits. Man, there's so much look here. Uh, you have user engagement. You just have a bunch of different metrics to choose from. So let's just pull in a couple here. So let's look at, we don't have conversions set up, but let's just pull in conversions. Let's pull in first opens. And, and this kind of shows you how the table, uh, you know, 
will pan out as you add more metrics and more value. So this is uh, just a pretty basic report of how it looks. You can also change the number of rows over here. So as you can see here, we have uh, pages one through 10, but we have made way more than 10 pages in our website. That's because we have it set at 10. So let's go ahead and expand that. Uh, typically I expand it to 500 just so it shows all the pages. So you have all of these pages over here. If you want to manipulate the date range, you can go ahead up here and uh, you can either select a custom date range or you can uh, select one of the preset date ranges. So last 30 days, you can look at that. Uh, you can change any of the report here. So let's call this the pages report. And you can also change the name of the tabs here uh, called you know, pages report page one. So there are a couple things you can do with this. Uh, you can have it in a table section. You could have it, you know, as a donut chart. If that's something that's going to be effective for you, you can do line charts when it loads, obviously. But you get the idea. There are many different types of, uh, of visualizations that you can have, and it really depends on the data you have. For situations like this, obviously a bar chart or a donut chart won't, won't be as effective as just the table. But if you're looking more at e-commerce data, you know, uh, a scatter plot may be something that you're interested in. Or if you're looking at, uh, you know, sales, a map can be something of interest. You know, um, I've seen e-commerce clients that have maps of the United States where you have uh, kind of activity spheres going around the, the country with um, sales activities in different states. So that's something you could do if you're interested in, but just for the um, basic reporting feature, um, this is how you configure it and, and how you make it work. I encourage you to go in this feature and just play around with it as much as you can because it is super interactive, it's super engaging, and it, it's the best way to kind of learn it. And uh, the last thing I want to touch on is segments. So for um, kind of segmenting your reports, this is a pretty neat tool that they have here. So we have a couple of preset segments here that were all already created, but I'm gonna go ahead and create one from scratch just so we have that um, in here. So let's go ahead and click on segment. Let's create a user segment. And let's say we want users who are only from the United States. So let's go add new condition and add country, country ID and add a filter, exactly matches the US. Let's click apply and click save and apply. So in this situation, we are only looking at users from the United States. So we did not segment this yet. So let me go ahead and edit this. Edit segment. Let's call this the United States segment. And once we hit save, we'll be able to see that we have our total users and we have our users from the United States. And these numbers look similar because we have most of our visitors coming in from the United States. But if you were in a situation where you um, want to look at users coming in from the US or from Canada, Mexico, you can have these things segmented in tables through the segments feature over here. So I hope this video kind of gave you a very basic overview of how to configure the, the reports. I know um, when I first entered this feature for the first time, it was intimidating and I was pretty unfamiliar with how to work it. So I hope this video kind of gave you um, the push that you needed to start exploring this feature. So like always, uh, check out the full blog for this topic and check out our other videos on GA4 and other digital marketing tutorials. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.